Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today I've got this loft room to do walls only. So as you can see, it's all been done before and it's yellow. Just stripped the paper here, what was on there. So they just want me to do walls only, no woodwork, no ceiling. So I've got to try and find a way now of, of cutting this in precisely. So I bought this, um, got it online from my paintbrush. It's the Worcester Ultra Pro Extra Firm Brush. Um, so this is like the maximum control one, two inch. The two and a half were sold out, so I couldn't get hold of them. Um, so what I like about this, I've read up on them. They're meant to be really good brushes. Um, as I say, for angles, cutting in, that sort of thing, precise lines. It's meant to give you that precision when you go along. Um, so yeah, it's got a nice feel to it. So yeah, two inches, two to two and a half you know for cutting in that that does me um so let's let's give this a whirl eh? so yeah i just want to show you on the this section here so what i've done is i've cut a neat line in with this and as you can see along the top of the skirt as well so straight away it's got a nice feel to it feels great to hold you know i've dipped the paint in nothing's dripping off you know look just freshly dipped it in there for you just to show you um holds it very nicely all the filament holds together nicely it's not splaying outwards so what what i do is because i'm only doing the walls i'm not doing the ceiling so i want to show you this so as you can see when you look up you're not going to get any sort of um them horrible painted lines like on the ceiling as i was explaining about in the other video underneath coving as well so if you look here ever did this before as you look along there they've hit the seal they've gone over the the plaster line have actually hit the ceiling now in a dark color like this it's going to look messy so what i'm going to do is i'm not i'm not, I'm not getting paid to do the ceiling but what i'll do is i'll put a little bit of white emulsion along here about that thick and then i'm going to cut my own line in to about there just literally just below follow follow the plaster line but just below it so that's what i've done here looks so much better um, so yeah, the control of this brush, first time using it, you know, so I'm holding the camera here and doing it as well. As you can see, that just glides along lovely sharp lines. Um, so yeah, great for uh, cutting in, especially all different angles. You've got a nice sort of reach on it as well. Um, yeah, let's just have a little go here while holding the uh, camera. So. As I say, I'll just come literally just below the plaster line there. Okay, so it just gives you that look, look how sharp that is. Right, I've just put the brush down. So what I'm trying to explain is if you look along there, you're gonna have a nice, neat white line, almost like you finished it off with a cork bead. It, it's gonna look really sharp, really nice, rather than all, all this business. Um, again, cutting along the top of the skirt, no problem. No need to mask up with with the brush like this. So this is what it is. It's the Worcester Ultra Pro. I've got this on my paintbrush online. Um, so I will show you the room when it's all finished. Because I say I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go now and put like a bit of white along here, and then recut in all these lines because it's you know it's quite a strong yellow and i'm gonna have to follow their lines basically and i don't really want to so um yeah let's see how the room looks when it's all done right so folks this is the first coat on all the walls so as you can see how neat the lines are look how sharp they are um and then this is a real awkward room you see look so all around there around there it's a loft room as well so um this is first coated everywhere but what i'm saying is you can achieve these lines with this so i really like this you know this has been kept in a bag overnight but it's stayed in shape ready to go again and what i like is it seems to hold the paint inside and it doesn't drip so you know usually some brushes like, like drip paint or they're hollow inside this has got a real good film to it it's it's um yeah when when you use it as well you, you come away and it kind of springs back into shape because it's an extra firm one. So I've got to show you here. So it's the Worcester Ultra Pro Extra Firm. 
two inch um yeah very impressive it really like it ideal for rooms like this with funny angles and stuff like that so um yeah yeah so if you want to try and get one of these as i say i got this from my paintbrush online so um yeah i highly recommend this brush i think it's really good you know um it's all trial and error and it's all personal to each painter but you know i think i might start using these now um so yeah thanks for watching and uh please subscribe for more hints tips and reviews to my channel thank you very much